What's up, everybody? It's Ed and Mindy from Hi. the Viacru Project, and thank you so much for joining us today. You picked a great night. It is Sessions, Sessions. Episode 9. So we thank everybody that's joining us and those that are going to be watching the replay. Thank you again. Mm. It's going to be a fun night. Babe. Yes. Who is who's in the, in the chat? House? Yes. Uh, who's in the chat? <laughs> Alyssa's here. Hey. Hey. Welcome. Dennis Savelli is here. Medical welcome News to the Live. stream. Kate hey. Atwood. Timothy Rainwater. Welcome. Is Miguel Benitez Jr. Hey. I think they're, they're in Disney, I believe, right now. Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Laura Wilson. Thomas Ever After is in the house. Hey, Thomas Ever After. Thank Ooh, you. My thing. Pirate Princess piping. Red welcome. is in the house. Uh, Alpha Traveler 1 is here. Hey, welcome. Uh, did I say K at what? I think I, think I you did. Probably did. And that looks like okay. everybody right now. Well, thank you so much, guys. For those who are joining, those who will be popping in throughout the night, we have a great, great session. So excited to have who's going to be with I us. Know. We have. Hector Rodas Vlogs, also known so as Us, us Out Loud. Loud. So it's going to be so much fun having the family on with us. Yes. Um, but before we get going, um, you know, it's been a while. I feel like it it's been a while has. since we've been we, super busy. We've been really, really busy. Oh, especially me this week. Yeah. Whew. We were, um, first off, those that have been following us, we went to uh, Legoland. Legoland for Jordan's Legoland birthday. Legoland for her birthday celebration. We had a great time. And if you have never been to Legoland... That's a great place to go for well, younger kids. Yeah, at least here in Florida. I know there's other Legolands, but we had a great time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I would have to say... You know, it's built for kids. It is. But I had such a good time. Their water park is awesome. Phenomenal. If you have not been to Legoland's water park, I know we don't do a lot of Legoland stuff, but you got to check out the Legoland okay. water park. Oh, I could have spent all day in the Lazy River. We got we got annual passes. And the wave. The wave it was so there. much fun. fun. Um, but from that, we also, uh, I, I had a conference that I was up. You did. I was at. We had, I had a great time. If you guys have been following us on social media, make sure you have Go to our Instagram or Facebook. Check out the Viper Project. But we, um, I was up there and Mindy. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay, go ahead. Mark Out Loud is here and he says, I'm here. Say hi to me. <laughs> oh. Hey, hi, Mark, Mark Out Loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark. Uh, well, welcome to the stream, Mark. Um, but we, I went up to uh, Orlando for a conference mm -hmm. and then uh, Mindy came up and she came with Jordan, Jordan. Mm -hmm. and we went to Disney World Yay! and uh, we got to Disney Dan. Yeah, hang out. We got to see Disney Dan he and they were so just fun. live streaming. No, he, speaking of, he just, he just came up. in. They were just live streaming. <laughs> uh, so those that are coming from their stream, thank you for coming by. Appreciate the love. Um, but we had such a great, great week. It's oh. been un incredible going to it Disney World, seeing Disney Dan, which Disney Dan is phenomenal. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Guys, if you have not checked really out cool. Disney Dan, you got to check out him. He's got an incredible channel. He's got a, cr a great live stream show mm -hmm. that he does every week with Corey Fiasco, mm -hmm. uh, Mickey's Magic. Yep. Uh, phenomenal team that they mm -hmm. have going on there. So uh, make sure you guys check them out. Um, but, yeah, we had a great, great, great week. The summer is over. Shh. Summer is over. I don't know That's about you not. guys, but our children have not started school yet. They no. start school on Monday. <laughs> so... This is our last hurrah. I mean, I'm, yeah, it's sad. Oh, sh well, because you can tell them why. <laughs> well, for those of you that don't know, I am a teacher. So not only does Jordan start school on Monday, so do I. Yeah. And I've had a long week because they changed my classroom and my grade level this year. Yeah. I'm starting new, and that's where I've been all week long. So bear with me with the yawns tonight. <laughs> yeah, she's tired. tired. She's tired. <laughs> um, so... But let's get started before yes. we before we get uh, our us. guest. They don't, yeah, no one cares about us right mm -hmm. now. They care about Hector and <laughs> Joanna and their family. <laughs> but um, before we get started, Mindy's going to go over some of the house rules that that for those that maybe be here for the first time, how sessions work. Yes. And then uh, from there, we'll we'll get ready to segue in and bring them all in. Hey, yeah, yeah. I see here she just joined. Yeah, yeah. RJ, I love saying yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, yeah. RJ, oh, welcome, guys. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, so for tonight. This show works best when you ask questions. So get your questions in. If you have a question for Hector Rodas and the Us Out Loud family, make sure tonight you tag my original helper. Woo, she's, she's back in the with house. me tonight. Daphne from Thomas Ever, Ever After. And pause. I want to give Thomas Ever After <laughs> a congratulations because she crossed over 2,000 subscribers. Woo! 
What a what a, a huge wow, milestone. That's huge. So everybody give to, uh, Thomas Yay. Ever After some love. She's been with us since the Throw beginning. Throw some emojis so in the chat. So give her some love. But go ahead and finish up. And also, Magical News Live is under as well. Go ahead. Yes, Magical News Live is here for us too if uh, Daphne has to dip, but my girl's in the house. So, <laughs> at Thomas Ever After, if you want to make sure your question gets seen, because you guys are will be busy with Hector and the fam, and I might miss it. So she will be sending me personally, privately, behind the scenes, your questions. Yes. So at Thomas Ever After, hit her up and we will get your questions asked. And ask, 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 because we love those questions. Yes, we do, we love it. So, I think that it's- That was a lot of hand motions. There's a lot of movement. We've been I'm doing Cuban, a lot of movement. So, yeah, she's, you know. she's rubbing off on me. <laughs> Alrighty, so, I think it's time. I think it's time to bring them out here. We got some people, we got more people joining the stream, so thank you guys, yes. welcome to the stream. Um, Let's let's bring them out. So if yeah. you have not seen Us Out Loud, which was the original Us Out Loud, but they're also now known as Hector Rodas Vlogs. Mm -hmm. If you've searched them, you're looking for Hector Rodas Vlogs. But before they were known as Us Out Loud, and a lot of people mm -hmm. that are, are on here know them by Us Out Loud. Yes. If you have not checked out or know their family, you are missing out. What an incredible family, incredible and creative videos that come out of there. Insane. It is insane. If you do not know what I'm talking about, check out this video. What's up, everybody? We are outside. Now, there really is no right or wrong way to make Yorkshire pudding. What's in the bag? 2018. So that employee over there's looking at me. I think he's realized we've been here for a few hours. What is going on what over is here? What's happening right now? What is this? Got me in this scooter. Like what? We. Welcome with us for the first time here on Sessions, Hector Rodatus, I always mess it up, <laughs> Hector Rodas Vlogs, and the Us Out Loud family, I was so close, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome guys to Hi the stream. Guys. <laughs> beautiful oh welcome welcome <laughs> we are so excited to have you guys with us thank you again for uh for coming on sessions it has been a long time coming um and yeah. uh so uh go ahead baby this, 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 we have hector we have joanna we have juliana with us yes. we also have I know, in the background in the back doing something <laughs> we gave him a giant lollipop Oh, I think that's gonna bite you in the butt later when it's time yeah, for bed. Yeah, <laughs> it is. We're prepared for that. We're prepared yeah. for like the eye of the storm. Hopefully, and it was then, our yeah. before we started. So <laughs> we had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> he and then he wants the vegetables for the rest of his life. Oh, jeez. <laughs> all right, it's all coming out now. It's all coming out already. All right, keep it coming, Juliana. You keep it coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you guys are now coming on the stream, make sure you're hitting that like button. It really helps us out, smashing the like button. If not, make sure you're also going to Hector Rodas Vlogs. Um, Hector, and, and make sure you're subscribed to their channel. Trust me, amazing content. I'm, I'm very, very excited. I'm one of the biggest fans. He's fanboying tonight. Just a little. Just a little bit. I just, you know. We'll get it. We'll get into that in a little bit here. Um, but Hector, but uh, Hector, uh, listen, your channel has been doing incredible. The growth, I've been watching you grow. And, um, you know, it's it's been just really, really cool. If you guys haven't seen it already, they're almost to uh, 2,000 subscribers. They're getting up there. They're getting, getting really, really close to... Um, to Thomas Ever After's numbers, I know. You know, so she she's 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 she's, awesome. she's she's getting up there, and uh, so just tell us a little bit. How, how did this all start? You know, where did this YouTube venture come from? You know, this this little one right here. Um, you know, I've I've always had a passion for uh, for filmmaking. Um, 
back when YouTube actually first started in 2006, that's when I first started my first channel, um, which actually belongs to Mason now. He's using that account, which is really funny. Um, but all videos. the yeah, all the videos <laughs> that were on there before, um, they YouTube removed all of the sound because everything I was using back then was all like mainstream music to like to my cuts. You know, back then it's like what's you know piracy? What like yeah no. Yeah. So, <laughs> so all my old surf movies and all that stuff that you know I, I deleted everything. But um, you know I started YouTube again with her because. When Juliana was three years old, she was totally into uh, Ryan's Toy Review mm -hmm. and uh, the Engineering Family mm -hmm. and you know, Cookie Swirl C. Yeah, yeah, she was just totally about these YouTube channels. And she and, and I was like, you know, let's, let's let's not watch. Let's let's do what they're doing. It's, That's it's, awesome. On you. Let's do it. Let's hope, let's put some prizes inside of balloons and let's do let's open up some bags mm -hmm. and um, and that just opened up a whole can of worms. I think it was all really an excuse for me to. <laughs> you know, get a camera and, you know, to get involved in this stuff. And it was... Uh, actually, seriously, ha already had a camera. But yeah, you know, we did. We did have a camera. It was hard and expensive. Hard to work with little kids. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand. We learned that quickly, like... Uh, took the wedding pictures of that camera, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell you, she's a star. <laughs> Jesus. But, That's um, fantastic. I hope you didn't delete them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were doing the kids channel and you know I think um, what I wanted to do a bunch of scripted stuff and it was just hard working with kids and I'm like what am I doing why don't we start you know why don't we just start up my own channel and then and then I actually started the channel and it was called Hexilla Vlogs I remember I was following yeah. you when it was then was my uh, it was my nickname for a while right so and then I changed it to I was like you know let's let's try to make this a little bit more family orientated and, and back then we were doing a lot of challenges, you know, um, you know, we we're, we we're trying to keep on top of the trends. You know, when we all first start YouTube, mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're kind of lost. We're not really sure you know, right. where we're going, what we're doing. I mean, not, not, not everybody. Some people have a clear vision and they run for it and they're very, you know, and they do well. Right. But me, I, you know, I, I just knew I wanted to make something. I wanted to create something. Um, and then it wasn't until November, um, when us out loud was born and, I started uploading regularly on Us Out Loud, and I kind of just left Juliana's toy review in the dust. Sorry, sorry, Juju. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, and then and then obviously now, um, in what was it in in June? No, July. Um, we had another. Uh, it was early July that had you know my channel. The channel changed again. Um, and you know, I think I think now, you know, I don't think there's gonna be another change. Um, <laughs> right. yeah. That could be your thing. Multiple changes. Yeah, <laughs> right. <I'm real. laughs> now, it's evolving. <laughs> evolving. <laughs> but yeah, now you know, now I, I feel I think I, I found my niche. Um, I think you know um, I've started going daily, yes. um, which has been um, pretty much the whole month of July. So it's been a little over a month that I've been doing the daily grind, wow. and now it's. Yeah, I'm sucked in 100%, and I, I love it. I love every second of it. It's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, uh, the 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 announcement video that you did for the the new uh, direction you're going was epic. If you have not seen it, you got to make sure you see, <laughs> check out how the transition from Us Out Loud to Hector wrote his vlogs. How, oh, phenomenal. Uh, so creative. <laughs> Um, I, I was like, you know, and I, I mean, I'm geeking because I'm like the color grading <laughs> and, the, and the, you know, the, the drone shots and all that just for, so for an announcement that like you, you put so much into it, Hector. OK, we'll keep That's so funny is I, I, I that morning I asked Joanna or I talked to her because, um, you know, I've been playing with the, 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 you know, I've been playing with the idea of changing the channel. And obviously, since, you know, this is something that we all created together, even though I'm the one that's doing a lot of the filming, I do the editing and stuff. Joanna is the foundation of everything. Like without her, none of this would be possible. Oh, with, oh that's without. right. There you go. True <laughs> though. It's you're sure like, you're if, right. Black. <laughs> if if if, it, if if she wasn't like you know so amazing, there's no way in heck I would be able to to, to do this because Aww. this is very time consuming. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of hey, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go film something real quick. You know, mm -hmm. and and, it, and and her undying like you know support is just. You know, made everything possible, and, and hopefully it pays off one day because that's my plan. I, you know, I want her to, you know, 
I want the I want the you know the hard work to pay off, yeah. especially because you know <laughs> there's such a sacrifice. You know, short term, um, short term, you know, stuff. Games. You know, that we're sacrificing now time and energy yeah. for for hopefully long term payoff. So mm-hmm. yeah, hopefully, if hopefully it works out. If not, you know, I, I at least I'll, I'll be able to shoot a killer wedding you know video for my daughter one day so that was cool so, so, so joanna so so what do you what do you think about do you like being on camera do you like you know um sometimes you don't even know you're on camera <laughs> you know so how, how, do you, how do you feel about that um i mean i i i'm not as i don't think i'm the natural behind the camera as hector is um i do like being on camera um it does get a little stressful with the kids being so young because well really mason juliana is i think past that that stage but mason is still having his temper tantrums you know from time to time and i feel like he requires a lot of my attention so that's mm. once I, I don't kids get a little bit older just a little bit older it's going to be it. so much easier because it's going to be like all right kids come on all right you're going to do this you're going to do this or mason mason's actually a natural at the camera he's already like around a little taking pictures all the time so yeah. mason's going to be my little my little you know, videographer. I'm going to teach him. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man! This is, why, this is the, you know, this is the role. Yeah. You know, I'm going to get him. But he's already got an eye for it. Like I swear, yesterday he was with the he, he took a whole bunch of pictures with the phone. That's his camera. That's the one he knows how to use. And so, but he was like his eye. He like he he sees like the garden hose in the bush. Like you know. Oh wow! Oh, so he's he's framing it properly. Yeah, he's framing it. Like, wow! But he like you see it. He looks at it. And then he lifts up the camera. He's not like, you know, right, like, snap, right. snap. like he looks around for something and then he that's takes good. a picture. That's good. That's awesome. That's, that's, he's got a future. He does. Yeah. Really yeah. Do you have any, any, any questions or anything? Nothing right now? I mean, okay. okay we have one. Wait, where'd it go? There we go. Miguel has a question. Ask them, what is one thing that has been a pleasant surprise in doing YouTube and what has been a challenge or disappointment? So I think the let's let's go with the disappointment first. I think one of the biggest disappointments that we all face as YouTubers, as creators, is putting a lot of effort and a lot of time into something. I mean, when you put your heart and soul into a video, um, and then you put it out and it doesn't get the response that you mm-hmm. hope. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I think that can be um, it can be very discouraging at times especially as a creator i know a lot of a lot of the audience right now are also creators yes um but and that's the that's the biggest disappointment is is this is the is the anticipation for you know short-term success and Mm. and sometimes it doesn't happen that way um i did a video gosh in january of 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 a stupid gaming chair and i remember that video got like 60 views and it stopped and I was like, oh, you know, and I remember I was like, I thought it was pretty funny in that video. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Last month, it was one of my most popular videos. It just like blew up and it's got a few wow. thousand views. And, and so, so, you know, that's, it's hard to like, you know, to not focus on, you know, like, oh man, I put so much work into that video and nobody's, right. nobody cares about it. So that's the hardest part of YouTube. Um, and that's been the biggest disappointment in YouTube. Uh, just like getting the exposure, right? Yeah. You need to like figure out, I guess, the algorithm or whatever. And, and, yeah. You don't know. So know. Nobody knows. People. Nobody knows the algorithm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all a surprise. Yeah. Nobody knows. There's no science to it. It's it's It changes. It changes every day. Right I think now. I think the one thing that we can all agree on, and I think you're doing, is consistency. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. and I think because, you know, you're you've been killing it now, especially with the daily the stuff. You know, I think presence is everything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I think you're doing an excellent job right now, you know, doing that. Yeah. And then Miguel, the other part of the of your of the question, um, I think the best part so far, like the most surprising part, is um, the amount of friends that I have made, like mm-hmm. around the world. Like I, I literally have like good friends that I speak with on a regular basis, like mm-hmm. literally a different time zone. Like it's like, oh, you know, I can I can call my friend in the middle of the night. It's like, hey, what are you doing? You know, like and and I have friends in in Florida. I have friends in Jersey. I've got friends in. Seattle. I've got friends in Houston. I've got like everywhere in like, like, I feel like really close friends because you know, you know how it is. Like we, we've talked to each other on FaceTime and we've talked to each other on live streams and mm-hmm. stuff, but we feel like we know each other. That's right. Can, exactly. We put ourselves out there as creators and, and with enough consistency, you can kind of get a feel for you know, what a person's like. And it's so funny because a lot of the people that I've met, because I've been doing a lot of collabs lately, especially with people all around the country. And 
it's like, oh, dude, you're the same dude I know on home. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's and so it's like it's like real friendships. I have more more friends. I have more YouTube friends than I do in real life. I, wow. I think my real life friends, like you know, I've got friends that are ride or die that I'll have for the rest of my life. You know. Yeah. From football and from surfing and just you know, but I think my YouTube friends. I think we have more of a connection because we have, you know, we have similar interests, similar desires, similar passion. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's, it's easy for us to mesh because we also get to, we get the grind. Mm -hmm. We get, we, we get the whole thing. We get, we, you know, and, and, I, and I think that's one of the best parts about YouTube is community. And, 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 you know, all of you guys here, you know, we, you know, we're all, we're all part of a fantastic community. And it's yeah. really one of the most rewarding things. Like now it's like I put, I put a video out and I've got everything layered for a different friend here, a different there, you know, <laughs> like oh, I got that, you know, I see that, you know, I see what you did there. And it's fun. It's really fun making videos, you know, with more friends. And then sometimes every now and then a video gets picked up by YouTube and, and a whole bunch of people come pouring in and, and, right. and it's fun. It's, it's getting really fun now because we're getting a good mix of, you know, other creators that I've met who watch and, and comment and stuff. And then, of course, just like, you know, no, the no thumbnail person who like, you know, from somewhere who just has something good or bad to say, it's all over the place, you know, and yeah. that's the fun part it, it, about YouTube is, you don't know, like the response you're going to get good yeah. or bad. And sometimes I, I have to be honest, it took a long time for me to realize this, but a lot of the bad is actually good for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's you know? true. It's a good way to look that's at very it. Very true. My videos has dozens and dozens and dozens of thumbs downs, but it's my best video. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, <"Huh>? right. <laughs> <laughs> that comments come through it. And I, yeah. and I posted them too. I was like, I don't even care. I'm like, let, let, and, 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 and I'll have, you know, and those bad comments, you'll have, you see people come and defend you. It's like, oh, this is great. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is, fun. it's just a fantastic platform. I mean, it's the biggest one, you know, you can, you can have, all your fun on Twitter and on Instagram and everything on Facebook, but YouTube's the Holy Grail. So yeah, you know, it, have it fun is. on here, and we can you know be successful on here. Then you know, there's no stopping you. It yeah. is, you know, and and uh, you know, one of the one of the videos <clears throat> that you know talking about being yeah. the most popular video, and I remember, I always remember, and you know, it, it came out in a perfect time too. It was your <clears throat> the Toys R Us video that you guys uh, guys did that. That video, um, first off, uh, you know, I was watching it. And I'm like, man, I miss Toys R Us. <laughs> you know, oh. it was like it was a perfect because you could relive Toys R Us. But that whole video, uh, tell us a little bit about that video and how how people reacted to it. <laughs> You're talking about the, the one you showed the twenty four hour, yeah. we, 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 hour one. The twenty four oh. hour one. Oh. Can I say something? Yeah, twenty four hour one. Hector didn't think that people actually believed that we did the 24 hours, like, in the Toys R Us. And I told him, I said, I think people are believing it. Like, because yeah. we're friends with a lot of other family channels, and people weren't commenting. And I was like, they think we really made the kids stay in Toys R Us yeah. for 24 hours. I was like, we need to say that this is not real, you know, because, like, we just went into a couple different Toys R Us locations and filmed a couple things. I mean, like, the worst thing we did to our kids was, like, climb behind this box on the shelf you know and they loved it by the and way. they pretended they yeah. were sleeping we were the, like they were like the magic. kids were like on yeah. it they're like yeah they're like this is great you know we play, spent the whole day playing in toys r us so. yeah <laughs> we didn't get kicked out so that's it, good yeah, it, it, all. it was done so good like i really i it, it was so believable the that. first time i watched it i really believed it and i was like how could they do this yeah. <laughs> right it's funny. We were yeah. like, no one will believe it. Yeah. And then so he did like a small one with Mason one day. Yeah. And like yeah. the time check, I don't know if you guys saw it, was like on like the little like, you know, playhouse kitchen. Like it was like. Instead uh, of like using my house. phone for the time check, which he is did common. It on the fake, the fake yeah. little kids clock, you know. Oh. When you spin. <laughs> <laughs> and people still thought that one was real. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I was only here for 20 minutes. But yeah. people were like. I can't believe you did that. I'd be so scared. I'm like, people <laughs> are very impressionable, especially with editing. I guess you can make things yeah. really look, you know, Mommy, thank look you like they're. Uh... Oh, that's okay. Pick it up and go trash. Thank you, though. <laughs> She's, 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 she's always quick to let us know if Mason did something wrong. Yeah, oh. man. <laughs> <That's> the older <laughs> sister. <laughs> yeah. um, Mark out loud, you kind of already answered his question but i'm going to say it again just in case you have something new to say uh he wanted to know hector why did you <laughs> why did you start doing youtube so you already answered yeah. that but juliana really um 
so one thing I guess that I can maybe add about the changing of the channels and stuff like that, or changing the name, um, was that like Hector and I like we would have plans to like do something like a challenge or whatever after the kids go to sleep, and then like they won't fall asleep, and we would mm-hmm. sit there and we'd be up with them trying to get them to fall asleep, and we'd pass out like without yeah. one of us to fall asleep. <laughs> and then that things would get filmed, and we're like, oh, you know, no, we don't have something to put out. So I think that also had something to do with that. obviously keeping the direction, but yeah. I think it's just. It's easier for me right to go now. run and gun if I have to. You yeah. Know, like, yeah. Like, we get that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, how some of them do it. Like, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's the hardest thing ever. Like It is. Yeah. You, know, you know, I think also Mark out loud wanted just to have some attention. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, Mark. You know, so he just wanted to get some. He just wanted you guys to get have some. not checked out Mark out loud. <laughs> He's, he's one of my I, like I've told Mark like in his comments it's like it's not it's not a lie like he's one of my fa- I love his gritty personality yes and, I, and, he, and I'd love just watch him do stuff around his house he's got a beautiful house up there in, in Oregon yeah. and yeah. he's always you know like he, and he's been posting so much lately it's like I love it I love every second of it yeah. I can't watch everybody but like I always make make an emphasis to go watch Mark he's <laughs> the, the, fun, the funny thing about Mark, with Mark we went. went. Every time we go to Disney, like we will this past time, oh Mark always comes up. If we see Jack Sparrow or, or we Goofy, see Goofy, or the Ducks. you know, is Mark. See, <laughs> uh, Mark. he's with us every he's single everywhere. time. He's with us all the time. <laughs> the best. Um, so you know, I wanted to talk to you guys. Was there another question? Uh, there is one more. Okay, go ahead. Um, Kay Atwood wants to know what is the hardest part of doing daily videos. Also, does it seem to bring you faster? As a family doing the videos, I'm assuming she meant closer. closer. You know what? Yes. So one thing about YouTube is we're always having fun. It's not like there's no like dead time around here. It's like sometimes there's dead time and we're like embracing it. Like, oh, let's just not do anything. Like, (laughs) no, but but we're always having fun. It's like there's no, we, we always have plans. Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the zoo. Let's go, you know, let's go, let's go fly the drone. Let's go hike. Let's, it's. You know, and, and I, I really, really like to be active with the kids. I want them to, you know, to get out and do things and, and know how to do things and bruise their knees and, mm-hmm. and, and get cuts and scrapes. And, you know, like, I think it's it, – and, and I'm an outdoorsy guy. If you watch my channel, you see I'm always outside. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love playing outside. And, mm-hmm. and I love dragging the kids along. And so, yeah, absolutely. It definitely brings us closer together. Mm-hmm. And, and the hardest part – the hardest part about daily vlogging um, – and this is what I thought was going to be. The, I thought the biggest challenge was going to be thinking of something to do. Like, how do you think of something to do every single day? I thought it was like that was going to be like, you know, my biggest challenge. And absolutely not. I think the biggest challenge is just juggling time because it does take time, um, especially to my, my vlogging style since I consider myself to be a cinematic vlogger. So um, I, I mess around with a lot of B-roll. I mess around with a lot of storytelling outside of uh, using my mouth. So that's a little bit more challenging. I think it would be a little bit easier if I was just like follow myself around. Hey, this is what I'm doing right now today. But, um, but you know, I I, I, I I geek out on it anyways. So I, I, I you know, whether I, I go film at twelve at night and edit until five in the morning, which I've done a few times. Like I don't know. That's that's the most challenging part is is staying dedicated. So um, it's, it's easy to it's easy to quit. But I don't know. I, I like I'm. I, I'm, I'm so involved in it now. I'm just like, I can't, like, it's addicting. It really is. It's really addicting, the, the whole creation process. And, and it's getting more and more fun. And, and it's, it's, <laughs> it's fun, man. It's a lot. Of, you got, you're, doing, you're doing an excellent <clears throat> job. And, uh, you know, I want to talk to, to you guys about, you, you, together you complement each other so well. Right, compl- I said right. Good. Yeah. Compl- you guys are so good on camera together. You're always laughing. Um, I was watching uh, one of the, one of my favorite videos um, is which one should I put on first? I'm gonna put the <laughs> the eat it or wear it. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna put it up real quick, Oy. guys. Enjoy enjoy this clip. It's a little lengthy, but I want to watch it. There we go. Or wear it challenge number four. Four. Oh, clam chowder! Oh. <laughs> I'm opening the clam chowder. Hector is I'm going about to find to out if I'm gonna eat it or if I'm gonna wear, wear it. Wear the clam chowder. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 o
skin in my eye. Oh, 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 Mason's gagging. Mason's gagging. Oh, oh, it's fine. Number twelve. Oh, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! What do you have to it do? It says wear it. Wear it. Oh, the first one. All right, come here. Have oh, a seat. No, it's all gone. It's all gone. Whoa! On the face. <laughs> Oh, hot sauce. Hot sauce. Oh my god. Okay. Why are you doing that? Okay. It's okay, baby. It's a game, honey. Oh, wear it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Look up. Okay. I'm looking up. <laughs> oh, it's cold! I'm not gonna put all of it. Oh! Oh! Nacho cheese! Nacho sauce. cheese sauce! Oh, Alright! Okay. okay, ready? <laughs> Nacho cheese sauce! Ready? <laughs> oh my god! That's so gross! <laughs> I love your hair. <laughs> what have you done with your hair? <laughs> oh, it's still burning. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys, I took a shower this morning. Here, let me help you. I didn't know we were going to do this. <laughs> I got an orange. Okay. All right. Flowers and, flowers and cookies, right? I like cookies. Yep. Okay. Oh, you have hot sauce in your eye again. <laughs> Here, put some flour on it. Maybe it'll <laughs> stop it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh. All right. Thanks for watching the Us Out Loud Eat It or Wear It Challenge. Dude, that was oh, so awesome. God. That was one of my favorite videos. <laughs> 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 the hot sauce in the eyes. Oh. Oh. Worse oh. to do that challenge than I thought it was gonna be. The cleanup was the worst part. Yeah. Oh. Like, what a big tarp <laughs> yes! Oh like, if I move, it's just gonna get in more places. So, tell us about it in your hair. That was maple syrup. How oh did you get gosh. that out of your hair? It came out very easy. I think I had the nacho cheese, and I think maybe, did I get mayonnaise also? No. The, the, what wouldn't come out is she dumped lard on my yeah, hair. So, yeah, yeah. We could... And in the shower, <laughs> It was just like molding clay. <laughs> it wasn't coming out. I had, like, I had to like get a comb and I had to like, I had to like, like brush it out and like. Oh my gosh. I don't think that stuff gets put a lot of like soap. Well, why? Like, you uh, that out. But yeah. then I, uh, syrup wasn't bad. It wasn't was bad. Wow. Yeah. It, it looked, it was, it was pretty crazy. So what about that? So the hot sauce in the eye, obviously that was burning. There was a clip in there. It was one of, you got, you got a little upset. It was the egg. You got a little upset. You really didn't want the egg in your eye. I got mad. Yes, I was about to say that actually. That I got mad about something, but I couldn't remember what it was about. It was yeah. specifically told me, don't, don't get it in my eye. I thought like salmonella in my eye or something. Yeah, I do. I don't thing. like if I crack an egg, I wash my hands right after. Like I'm, yeah, I'm not OCD, but I just I don't yeah. like meat or raw stuff, you know, <laughs> on my hands. He's got no but the funny thing is, Joanna didn't even know that was even happening that day, right? No. I mean, we talked about it. <laughs> and then he just decided, like, oh, we're going to do the Eater to Wear a Challenge yeah. today. What I went to, like, the club store. I spent, like, oh, yeah, almost 200 bucks on it. Wow. Yeah, it was such a waste. Yeah. There's so much yeah. stuff away. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. I, but that was... I mean, it, it did all right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, um, the the uh, the. Go ahead. I remember when Jitterflix did it. They did it before us. Yeah. And RJ was RJ frozen, was frozen like me. Put <laughs> 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 the maple syrup on me. I was like, oh, that's exactly that's what, what I feel like. Now doing. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense there. <laughs> that's great. Oh, it was fun though. Um, so, um, before, we're going to get there soon. Okay. But, uh, uh wait, you, <laughs> you have any, you have any more questions? Yeah, Okay, yeah, got yeah. questions. Let's do that. Um, Mark wanted to know why he's emphasizing the word why you started the YouTube channel. 
why we because Juliana would spend a lot of time watching YouTube and we figured instead of her just watching it, it might be fun for us to do it as a family. Yeah, we kind of just wanted it to do instead of just be it, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's cool. like it's like, you know, watching baseball. It's like, you know, like hey, it's go it's fun to watch, but it's way better to go play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, right? Yeah. Exactly. I agree. Totally. I read that's, that's yeah. Thomas Ever After wants to know what are the family fa- family's favorite activities to do together? Our favorite activities? To do together. Gosh. Favorite activities. I, I think I I mean I personally I think um, I mean I, I'd say like hiking or skateboarding or something that's like that. Yeah, we, yeah. we love to be outside. Our kids love to be outside. Um, bicycle riding. We don't ride bikes as much as we used to because now we live on a big hill. <laughs> we need to like drive Ooh, the bike yeah. because I mean maybe we can get ourselves up, but with the kids, yeah. Like, we can't but when we lived anywhere. at this house, we were always on our bikes. We had a trailer in the back, mm-hmm. and we had a little seat in the front. You know, we're, we 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 live in Southern California, so it's beautiful. It, it just imagine you know, like everything you can do, like you know, at the beach. That's that's what we love to do. We love yeah. the beach. We're always at the beach. We try to you try to go as you know. I wish we could go more often because it's right we there. To. No, but, we need to. We said yeah. we were going to go like every weekend and. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, hey, Bella. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, uh, come here, Bella. Bella wants to say hi. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at her. What is she? Uh, she's an English Mastiff, and oh. she's, about to turn, she's about to turn 10 on the 28th. Oh, oh she's wow. Lady. She's an yeah. old gal. She's so cute. No way. We want to adopt a friend for her. Yeah. Or a baby. You about getting another part We have been for months, actually, yeah. months and months and months, but yeah. the right one hasn't found us yet. So right, yeah. I get one dog, remember? Yeah, right. That would not work. Yeah. All right. Anybody got any questions? Yeah, Disney Dan wants to know what is your favorite thing about doing YouTube as a family. Yeah, what about um, a baby I, you know, a baby dog? I think I think watching our videos together is like the kids mm. love watching the videos. Like, we've done a few videos where we go to play places, or on Juliana's channel, there's this one video that we did, I think it was almost around last Halloween, where they wanted this treasure hunt, and I added these, like, skeletons and dinosaurs and, like, special effects. So, the, it's funny, the kids are the kids are my biggest fan, really. Like, they love Aww. watching movies. And, and they, love, they love movie magic. That's what I call the special effects, or, you know, when I add stuff into it, you know, I'm like, this is movie magic. Like, recently I did a, a video where... I went to the Manson Caves, and I did a, you know, I did the overnight over there at the Manson Caves, and another one in a ghost town, so I got these creepy videos coming out, and, you know, my kids are like, oh, you know, but I'm like, yeah. watch this, I had the sound effect here, you know, like, I'm, I kind of show them, show them you wow. know, how the magic made, so they're just, That's cool. all about it. they're all about the cameras, you know, they obviously, I, I can't let them play with my cameras, but, you know, they <laughs> Button on for me. They want to see. They're they're all about it. All about everything. They held the it. camera and like yeah. a little bit before. They love the drones. They love just you know the whole. They love everything about it. These kids are I gonna like, be, you know, big time YouTubers. Watch. Yeah. yeah. I see that in their future. I like having all the videos as just like memories. You know, mm-hmm. we can yes. look back and remember. You know, things that we did and. You know, it's not just like a documented. regular. You know, like I remember my grandpa used to always film everything that our family did yeah. and. Those are on like VCR or what? What are those cassette? Yeah. What are those called? Oh, VCR. Oh, VHS tapes. Oh, VHS. VHS. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> to put in the VCR, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just dated myself. Yeah. Like the kids are gonna be like, "What's that?" Yeah, um, but you know, it's like it's just all the good parts of mm-hmm. yeah. highlights of whatever we went and did that day. You know, so it's yeah. cool. Yeah. And there's cool. some dope to it too. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, guess what? It's uh, it's that time. If you guys don't know and those are watching sessions, we are about to go play the hot seats. Here we go. All righty, welcome to the hot seat and. Uh, for those that don't know, this is a, a game that uh, Mindy plays uh, for all of our guests here on Sessions. She's going to go ahead and explain to you the rules, Hector and Joanna, and good luck. All right, so you are going against each other. 
As you know, you have one minute to answer as many questions as you can. If you get stuck, you are allowed to pass, but they won't be counted in your final total. Now, the running record is still Magical News Live with 20 questions, so that's the, que the, the total to beat. But again, you're going against each other. Yeah. <laughs> so um, once I read the first question all the way through, Edson starts the timer, and then we just go. Who wants to go first? Ladies first. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's right, Hector. <laughs> your, your mom taught you well. We'll talk about your mom a little bit. We'll talk about a little... All right, so let me go ahead and get the timer up there. You guys see it? Yeah. You see it? This is going to mess me up. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So, so, when, turn mom brain so when Mindy, Wendy, Mindy finishes the first question, I'll start the time. Oh, you let me know. Let me know when you're ready. Right, you're ready. Okay. You ready? All right. Here we go. Number one. Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 10, 20 minutes early? 20 minutes early. Scooby-Doo or Tom and Jerry? Tom and Jerry. What chore do you hate doing? Uh, laundry. Last time you laughed very hard out loud. Um, oh my gosh, when Bella farted really big earlier. <laughs> two, two things you would change about yourself. Uh, I'd probably be a little bit more easygoing and, um, I don't know. Uh, Take your time. <laughs> okay, what is better um, next? Next one says, what is better, being organized or attention to details? Uh, attention to details. The word moist, love it or hate it? Uh, hate it. What annoys you? Um, when people don't listen. What are your favorite clothes? Uh, something comfortable. Shorts what and a shirt. What foods do you dislike? Um, That's what I do. oh man, anything spicy, super spicy. What was the last film you watched? Uh, oh, we tried to watch Avengers. All right, <laughs> all right, good <laughs> job. You got good job. 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you job. still watched it. Uh, you got 11 <laughs> questions. All right, so all right. 11 questions. Okay. Oh, man. Well, I have something waiting for me. Hector talks a lot, so. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's hot seat. Quick answers. <laughs> so ready? So you ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Number one, K-pop or hip-hop? Hip-hop. Neighbor or Google? Uh, Google. When are you most productive? Uh, morning. What chore do you hate doing? Uh, cutting the grass. Wet or dry? <laughs> uh, dry. What time will you go to bed tonight? Uh, 2 a.m. Are you a dog or a cat person? Dog. Chocolate or caramel? Chocolate. When I dance, I look like? Uh, awesome. <laughs> Last person you went to dinner with? Uh, who was I going to? Oh, Tyrell uh, Greeley. What are you currently learning? Um, uh, how to color grade better. What do you think of when I say fruit? Uh, bananas. Last band or artist you listen to? Uh, uh, Pantera. What is the last thing you liked on social media? The last thing I liked on social media was probably, um, uh, gosh, uh, Gina Walters' tweet a little while ago. Uh, what is your favorite sport to watch? Uh, football. How do you like your steak? Uh, you How do you like your steak? Go ahead, go ahead. How do you like your steak? Mindy, you weren't reading the questions fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you can answer, go ahead, answer the last one. How do you like your steak? Uh, medium rare. Medium rare. All right, so good job. 16 questions. 16. Look at you, oh, man. I wasn't even counting. I just guessed. Wow. Very good. Well, that was the hot seat. You guys did great. You did an excellent job on the hot seat. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, everybody. It's stressful. It is. It can get stressful. Yeah. Not, you know. Oh, my God. All right. Listen, if you guys have any more questions for Hector or Joanna, please make sure you are tagging at Thomas Ever After so that we can... Uh, Get to know them a little better. Yeah, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the duo. The, the, I think you guys are a power couple, honestly. And um, one of the things that I, one of the videos that I love was how awesome you guys sing together. You guys check out this video. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You're trying to get that? Yeah. Uh, uh. Scrub is a guy that thinks he's fine and is also known as a buster. 
Oh, Was it Buster? <laughs> Buster? <laughs> Tale as old as time. As true as it can be. be. Watching while <laughs> his dog, dog is taking crappy. <laughs> we are the champions, my friends. And, and we'll, we'll keep on fighting till the end. I have no choice. I hear your voice. Feels like dying. I close my eyes. Murder was the case that they gave me. Oh, <laughs> it's me again. I was a big time TLC fan, if you can tell. <laughs> Into a whole new era, G Funk. Step to this, I dare ya. To a whole new level. The rhythm, rhythm is, is the bass, and the bass is the treble. What strings we bring? Melody, G Funk. Where rhythm, rhythm is life, and life is rhythm. If you smoke like I smoke, can you? All righty, you guys are incredible. You guys love to sing, obviously. <laughs> So says, I can't people. sing. So I didn't say that. You, I said I can't said sing. You said I can't sing. <laughs> I think what? you did very good, man. I know I can't sing. Yeah, you did pretty good. Especially he put on that what um, John Legend song. The John Legend, yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't even know what song this is. I didn't re recognize it in the beginning, and he's like, oh, I don't even know it either. And then knew every word. Sure. Yeah. Sure. He didn't know the words in advance. <laughs> And Hector, you, I guess you were a big TLC fan, man, you know? Oh, yeah. man, who does it right? Don't go chasing waterfall. Oh, yeah. In fact, uh, one of the first concerts I was ever going to go to was a TLC concert in Reno, Nevada. And uh, Left Eye got sick, and they canceled the, the concert. Oh, yeah. wow. That would have been, been so cool. That would have been like 92 or 93. Oh wow! I love TLC back then. That was my genre. I, I was a big into R and B, the hip hop. Mm -hmm. That was my thing. Now it's like all changed. You know, we get older and things change. But I still listen to. No, I don't haven't listened to R and B in a long time. I listen. Uh, to once in a while, you pop it on. I listen to everything yeah. from. I listen to a lot of old uh, '80s like um, techno punk. I guess I don't know how you describe it. Uh, like like. Uh, ah, gosh, like Flock of Seagulls and uh, Depeche Mode and. And then I listen to a lot of old rap. Or I'm not uh, like a, a lot of old rock. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I love so, all kinds. Of, so you got all things. Yeah. So Laura Wilson, uh, it's not a question, well, but is, I see. A... Who's Laura Wilson? Who's, go ahead. That's my mom. That's his mom. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, give Laura Wilson some love if you have not checked her Hello, out. That mama. is Hector's mom. <laughs> she is awesome. Um, she Hi. wants to see a series of your. Music montage songs. <laughs> a series of a series. A series. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We tried to do that with the kids, and one of the kids started crying, crying. in the backseat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Not happening. <laughs> I didn't think we were that bad, but <laughs> <laughs> we had to do that when we were by ourselves because they yeah. weren't cooperating. Well, Joanna, what kind of music do you like? I honestly, I listen to a lot of Citizen Cope lately. Okay. Um, Hector actually introduced me to him when we first started dating, and I just, I don't know, his music just relaxes me, and I always listen to the same songs, like it's the same album. <laughs> same album. songs. Yeah. Um, but I like, I love 80s. When I'm at the gym, I like to listen to, like, some J-Lo, um, mm. really anything upbeat while I'm running. But yeah. for the most yeah. part, if I'm home and I'm, like, getting ready, I put on Citizen Co. <laughs> <laughs> well you know especially let's talk about you know this uh since you guys have been working out together you guys have been on this really big weight loss um you've had a transformation video i mean 
you guys look incredible. Um, you know, tell us about this journey. How much have you lost? And, and you know, Gosh, well, it, I, I've lost almost about 50 pounds now. Wow. Um, I, I used to actually, when Joanna and I met, or, or well, not really when we met, met, but like the, most of the time that we knew each other prior to us being together, um, was a relationship that a friendship that we had at the gym. She worked at the, the gym that I work out at mm. and it's a bit fitness was a really big part of our lives You know through most of our 20s like um, I worked out regularly. Yeah, I was I used to be at the gym three hours a day every day And that was like big yeah big part of, of who I was back in the day and then with um, you know with you know Finding Joanna and like, you know, like just you know, you get comfortable and you know, and then we had kids, and, and there's lots of food around, lots of wasted food, you know, like. And then, you know, we drive by, you know, McDonald's or something, ah, I need to go, oh, it's, it's, okay, let's go, you know. It, it's, it's, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I had, you know, uh, yeah, I, I found out that my blood pressure was a little high uh, last time I went to do a little. Which he didn't tell me. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. I had a no. my as I have, I have asthma like seasonal allergy kind of asthma kind of I don't know what it really is. Didn't tell me um, that it came back. But <laughs> my I guess I started getting a little heavy. It's getting a little harder to breathe. Like I just um, I I felt I felt myself declining at a rapid pace and oh, like wow. um, my skin wasn't looking good. My hair wasn't looking good. I swear I just I I was like um, you guys ever see that movie <laughs> Super Size Me? <laughs> I, I, I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. Just like he went from perfect health and just a rapid decline. And I felt like I was just spiraling out of control. Um, and, and then I met, um, I met a guy, um, a few months ago, um, Daniel Pasquale. I don't know if you guys are. Yeah. Daniel Pasquale vlogs. Uh, right to get on yeah. And, um, he and I have, have built a really strong friendship over the years and, I mean, over the years, over the months, <laughs> um, over the last few months, and um, there was a video that he did um, hanging out with, at the gym with a bunch of buddies of his, and I commented on it, and I'm like, oh, I miss those days or whatever, and he straight up called me out. He's like, well, why don't you, or like, you know, like, why don't you get back into it, or, I, or what, or, you know, I don't know how he worded it, but pretty much said, what's like, what's stopping you? What's stopping you? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And and so I was like, yeah, who's stopping me? And so. I don't know. I just uh, I, I I joined the gym again, and and then I I started to hang out with my buddy uh, Blake, and he's uh, he's really into the gym, and he was also mm -hmm. too trying to lose weight, and so we kind of like we're feeding off of each other and we're working out together, and it's really cool to, to have a, a good gym partner because uh, especially when you're starting out, you know, like yeah. somebody to keep you motivated, someone to call you out when you don't want to go in the morning, like they're expecting yeah. you there, and so that really helped a lot. And now it's just like, yeah, now I'm back in the routine and, and I've lost a lot of weight. I feel great. I, I pop out of bed like that, you know, like, um, I just, you know, it, it is it's a healthy change that I needed to do. Plus, and, and this sounds really weird, but I've always pictured my kids. And I think it was in my weight loss video. I think I, I said, mm -hmm. like, you know, I wanted, I wanted to be that dad because I really do. I want my kids to think I'm the biggest, strongest guy in the world. I want them to be uh, So now I can pick them both up and problem so they think i'm cool <laughs> but also, i just want to be around with my kids and and back and when we, when we weren't working out when we weren't eating healthy I, we're lazy man like i'd sit on the couch like oh you know the kids want to play i don't have the energy for it you know just you know you know it's it's not it's not good so like, right. i feel much better now i feel like you know we're a lot more active i think we just you know we did we did a change for the better and i think uh it's also bled down to the kids too because there's a lot of stuff that we cut out of, you know, we wouldn't, won't buy anymore. There's no more mm -hmm. juice in the house. There's, everybody drinks water. Right. Um, yeah, that's what we do. I, 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 you know, I can't eat chocolate and candy and stuff, so that stuff's x nade because it fits yeah. in the cabinet, you know. We eat it. We eat it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, kids. We have no <laughs> uh, Well, that's good, man. You guys look great. You guys are doing an excellent yes. job. Um, very motivated. You know, I... I was on this while you were losing weight and I was messaging you too in some of your lives and I was losing weight along with you around mm -hmm. that time and I lost about 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. So it feels good. And one of the big, one of the biggest things that I've noticed was your arms, you know, and uh, your arms are coming out really good and you can really see your arms while you cook. So check this out. Now there really is no right or wrong way to make Yorkshire pudding. Let's get the eggs and let's get the flour and let's make them warm. Let's make them whole. So, whoa, 
first thing you want to do is you can get about one or two, maybe, let's do three. Three eggs. Four. Hey, go big or go home. And then there's the flour. The flour is pretty much the most main ingredient of most of all ingredients. And if you if you kind of sift it in like a little sift, like sift, 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 sift. So make sure you get your whisk. Double action. Mix up. Mix up. Mix up. Mix up. And then you get a little bit of salt. I don't know. This much? This much? Like this much? Like 200 milliliters? No, it's like 200 milliliters. Can you add too much? Can you add too much salt? Oh my gosh, Hector, you oh. man, I have some skills. You have some skills with nice skills. You got the the, the whisking skill. That you know that that was um, a video. You were, I think you were tagged by Gina um, for uh, Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> And you had a very, very interesting take on it. If you guys have to go watch the rest of that video, it is incredible. He Hector comes out with two versions of Yorkshire pudding, and it is really funny. And it was surprisingly good. And that was one of my cheat days because that's like, yeah. Well, if you make it, you have to eat it. I got to eat it. I had to try it. As a baker, it was just, oh, oh, Especially that's, being oh. by the human Walters, I had to, I had to you know. I had to make sure I did it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, man. But that was a really, really fun video. I mean, you, it, uh, there's so much to pull mm -hmm. from your channel. You know, mm -hmm. it's so hard to, like, I mean, we can spend hours and hours just on your channel based on the different content mm -hmm. and, and uh, creativity that you do. But, um, you know. Might but be I the mean, best thing for my channel to be all over the place like I am. Um, you know, the, the, you, you do better on, on this platform when you like stick to one thing, and you do that one thing, you know, like, uh, but I, I don't know. I, this is, it's, I guess, you know, my tagline, it's my channel. I make videos about whatever the heck I want. So yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I a 24 hour challenge. It can be a cooking thing. It can be, you know, me on my yeah. skateboard talking about, you know, philosophy. So yeah, well, and you talk about you talk about it freely about uh, I think Joanna was saying to you that you might have ADD. <laughs> I found out that I had ADD like about yeah. a month ago. Oh, finally told me. So, <laughs> yes. I'm in the club. I was never medicated for it, um, I, but I found out because my mom was telling me a story about how they were trying to medicate, you know, get me put me on medication. My mom's like, no, you know, like, you know, I I, yeah. I just got bored easily if I wasn't challenged. I guess so. Yeah, so I got I got mad ADD, which is you, you can see it in my editing. I'm all over the place. <laughs> oh. But for creatives, it works. Yeah, it actually enhances it your creativity. I really so do. I think it does. Um, <laughs> The the uh, one of the things you guys did this year, which uh, we were supposed to be going to with you, was oh. VidCon. Yes. Um, so so give tell us a little bit about your experience. Was it worth it? You know, what did you see out there? Would you go back again? You know what? It, the best thing about VidCon is I connected with a bunch of other creators, and I also met a lot of other creators. Um, so that was it. It was I didn't know what to expect. It was my first VidCon. Um, we made a lot of we made a lot of new fans when we were there, which is cool because there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, younger audience was there, like a lot of teenagers and a lot of very mm. impressionable you know people. So uh, so mm. it was there. It was cool to meet a bunch of new fans. Um, but I met um, I met with uh, Keys Life, uh, you know. Um, I met with VR Fam, you know. Those wow. guys were fantastic. Cool. Um, yeah, just a bunch Gina. of yeah. Gina Walters met a bunch of just a bunch of creators, and we all got together, and you know we had. We had a really cool, uh, you know, really cool time at, at Downtown Disney. Um, I got us up into a VIP, uh, a VIP room at one of the one of the one of the restaurants over there. It, it's wow. just it was, it was an awesome blast. And um, I didn't I didn't do a lot of the stuff I thought I was going to go in over there to do. Like I, I thought I was going to take all these seminars and and learn how to you know learn how to grow my channel to a million subscribers in three months. You know, yeah. um, <laughs> but but when I got there, it's like. It's not even about this. It's about the connections, about connecting with other creators, mm -hmm. about you know putting your heads together and be like, hey, this I do stuff like this. 
I met some creators. I, gosh, I met creators literally from all around the world, and wow. you know, just chopping it up and talking about you know how our lives are so different, but how they're all so much the same. Right. It was really cool. I, I thought it was uh, I thought it was a great experience. And I think anybody who's really serious about um, about their channel, um, I, I don't see why they they wouldn't go check it out because it's it's. I think it, I got a lot from it. Um, it wasn't until that yeah, wasn't until after VidCon that I kind of just like put it all together. I'm like you know. Why am I, you know, creating content that I think people want to watch? You know, I think mm -hmm. I should just, you know, kind of just run with, you know, with what I got inside of me, and, mm -hmm. and then my audience will find me. And mm -hmm. that's what I've done since then. And <clears throat> I, you know, I kind of changed the way I, I went about my channel. I think before, you know, we were <laughs> trying to uh, grow our channel by putting all of our energy into other everybody else, and and, and you know, making sure everybody else is okay, and we supported everybody. And you know, mm -hmm. now it's like uh, not that I don't want to support everybody because that's what I'm here for, but um, you know, I want to make sure that I put my channel first, and now I do. I, every single day, I put my video out every day. Um, I try to get to as many comments as I can. I do. I give myself an hour every day to go watch, you know, some videos and make comments. And, and so, you know, it's. Uh, I, I, I learned a lot of that at VidCon uh, from mm -hmm. other creators, not even so much from the, the seminars, from mm -hmm. just from the other creators. People. Wow. Uh, other people wow. who've done well and are doing well. I and, think that he would have gone to more seminars if I didn't come with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for me, you know, it, it's a lot harder to do stuff with the kids. You know, like the yes, right yeah. one after the first day, Macy passed know. out. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Next year, I think, I don't know. I kind of want to go and be able to, like, meet people and do, like, the stuff that, that you got to do. Yeah. yeah. Like, I didn't really get to meet anybody, you know, mm -hmm. but we had an amazing time with the kids. We had so much fun. And, and then it, we I went to Disneyland. Like, it was yeah. not like, like, vacation. You know, because like we stay in the hotel and it's not like we came home, you know, like we've had so many staycations or we've gone camping, you know, but it was just, it was cool to stay in the hotel and to stay at Disney until pretty much closing. It was cool yeah. to surround yourself with YouTube, like a million percent. I mean, you're seeing a sea of, of Joby sticks everywhere you go. Everybody. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's everywhere. You've never seen so many of these things in your wow. life. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I gotta buy yeah. stock. Like you're in Los Angeles Jones and you sticks. think like, you know, there's so many people here. Like there's right. there's got a lot of YouTube channels. Like honestly, like I walk around, like people still look at me like I'm crazy, especially like you yeah. Know, but talking a lot, to myself. But people know a lot more. They're like, Oh, you're a vlogger or yeah. you know. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of people, oh, you're are you are a vlogger, you're on YouTube? Yeah. The channel, yes. Yeah. 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 That's really. <laughs> well, Liana, like the kids loved it so much. We when we were at, um, you know, just VidCon in the room with like all the different displays or whatever you want to call the people um, yeah. there, like showing their stuff. She was like handing stickers out to people and just being really cute. And we got like, like, like the subscribers were just going up, like yeah. from her just from being herself. And wow. Just going up. I saw a lot on it, so mm -hmm. it was cool. cool. Yeah, we wish we we wish we could have went. We wanted to meet everybody out there, but you know. We're lucky to be in a big city that has a convention center that can host yeah. it. Because I mean, I, I think that if we were in your position, if we were in Florida, yeah. there's no way we'd have gone. Yeah, I mean, take the kids, hotel, airfare. Yeah. I mean, it was living yeah, here. Yeah, yeah we look. We were trying to make it happen, but it wasn't. It wasn't financially. It was just like, oh. Yeah, and that's not also why we didn't go. It was our anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. You know, it was. Ours, so, you know what? The, ours was the twenty sixth. I think we said the twenty third. Twenty third. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, because honestly, we are just. You know, we're not one of those couples that's like, oh, it's our anniversary, and you know, we have to do something big and have something extravagant. Like, right. we honestly. Just life gets busy, and we have little kids, and things get hectic. And what YouTube, or Facebook reminded me one year that it was our anniversary, oh. and like I was already working, he was already gone at work, and like I went on Facebook, and it was like it's our anniversary, and I was called him, I'm like happy anniversary. He's like, oh, I'm the worst husband ever. And I said, no, Facebook totally just reminded me. Oh my gosh! I was like, it's like the wrong day to get married. I was like, not married before the kids were born, you know. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> Everything's her, it starts off with her birthday, which is the very end of May. Yeah, and, and then, then her birthday, June eighth, and then our anniversary, the twenty-third. Father's Day. Father's Day, yeah. Then oh, our VidCon. So it's kind of, yeah. there's a lot going on. Yeah, that's a lot going on. You have any yeah. more questions, man? Sure. Let me check where I left off. I think Disney Dance was the last one. Okay, so Alpha Traveler one for Hector. What is your current go-to camera, and when will you upgrade all your gear to four K? Oh, gosh, you know, that's such a good question. Now, the biggest thing stopping me from upgrading equipment is obviously money. Mm. Um, there's 
Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys what I shoot on. I was going to totally geek out of this because this is Kenny's. This is Kenny's jam. Um, this is uh, this this is the the little small like running gun. You guys are very familiar. A lot of you guys use this camera. This is the G seven X. G seven X. Oh, faithful baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is I call it the pocket Hercules because it really is mm -hmm. low light. You know, vlogging for anything. If you're just gonna like just a run and gun vlogger, you're gonna have a family channel, just basic stuff. This is your camera right mm -hmm. here. There's no need to get into DSLRs and lenses and primes and all that kind of stuff. You don't need to. Um, but this is my this is my go-to camera. Um, this is the Canon M6. Um, I, I have it mounted on my gimbal right now, but um, M6. It's a mirrorless camera, so um, it's pretty much like the 80D, which a lot of people have. Um, it, but it, the 80D is very big. It's got mirrors in it. This one's um, all electronic, all uh, all mirrorless, so it's compact. Mm -hmm. um, now. But like they were saying, like when am I going to upgrade to 4K? Because this only shoots in 1080, and it, it only shoots in 60 frames per second. Um, so I'm a little handicapped, um, you know, I, I, as far as like how far I can go. But I try to make it work. Yeah. Um, you can make it look good. But I will. Um, I, 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 I'm a Sony guy. I totally love Sony cameras and everything else. Um, I've been a Canon person since my first, uh, my first. Uh, real video camera, which was the Canon XL1. I'm not sure if anybody out there knows what that is. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a, you know, that was that was my first like professional style camera. And then now, of course, they're all they're all like this now. Mm -hmm. But I will I will be upgrading one day to like an A7, a Sony A7 Mark yeah. III or Mark II. Um, I can I see you that, using that with the low light. You know, that low light for the Sonys are just incredible. Well, you don't understand. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at me like, right? Sure. Yeah. Here's <laughs> the Mark II. 2003. That's just bodies. And then what you have to pay for the lens. You've got to buy a lens. You've got to buy the lens. It gets so expensive. It's an expensive hobby. It is. <laughs> what yeah, do you right? Know? Yeah, very, very expensive. Yeah. And yeah, it's a so it's it's a hobby. We well, we finally got monetized, so I guess we're yeah. oh, I guess so you're we're legit now. Yeah, we're getting paid. That's awesome. Congratulations <laughs> on that. We're like we're like right there. We're like a couple hundred, uh, a couple hundred. It's so funny how it happens. Get to the end, you're we're, like oh, so close. In June, yeah. we're at seventy five percent of our watch time. We're like oh, that's good. Uh, and then in like two weeks, we doubled. And, and it was like, oh, so it, it, you never know. You never know how fast it's going to happen. That's, 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 you never know. Know. that's it. The Toys R Us one. Any more questions? Yeah. Yeah. There, it took about a month for them to get back to us. I was oh, like, oh, wow. we're we going to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They waited for the Toys R Us video to die down a little bit. Right. Go <laughs> ahead and ask some more questions. Okay. Mark Allad has left, but he asked, uh, what was your biggest hurdle that was hardest to get over when you started YouTube? The biggest hurdle, I think everybody's going to probably agree with me here, um, was getting comfortable with myself on camera. Um, you know, you, 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 you're your biggest uh, critic, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know, with me and myself, especially when I started, uh, I was a little overweight. Uh, so um, when I became the most public I've ever been, um, I was at my worst, you know, as far as like I felt like, you know, physically, especially a lot of people who haven't seen me in a while. It's like, whoa, what happened to him? Um, and also, too, like, you know, I'm like, oh, man, I, I need braces. And, you know, like, I just, you know, you kind of just, you all, yeah. you know, you see yourself on camera and you see your worst of yourself sometimes, especially when you're editing because you're seeing all those, like, weird, like, awkward angles that you don't show everybody else, you know? But that was my biggest <laughs> camera shyness, and I think that's everybody else. Now it's like I, I, I could be in the middle of anywhere and laughing and, like, yeah. ah, you know, like talking to myself in the camera as if, like, I'm talking to everybody. Because now that's how it works. Now I, I picture all, you know, all nineteen hundred, mm -hmm. you know, forty one or forty three uh, subscribers that I have now. So it's like I now that was also too one of the biggest hurdles is making videos for a small audience. You know, like mm -hmm. when you first start, your your subscriber count's low. You're not making, you know, you're not getting the views. You know, you watch all these videos when you're learning how to, to subscribe or learning. I'm sorry, learning how to vlog. You see everybody millions and millions of views because that's what pops up in your face right away. And then you make a video, and it's like 13 views, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh! you know? So, so yeah, I think yeah. camera presence is, was definitely the biggest hurdle. And then, of course, you know, dealing with disappointment. You know, right, is, right. You know, everybody goes through it. We all, mm. well, but good. we all start with, you know, small subscribers for a reason, you know? That's right. I would want my audience today watching what I did, you know, back in, in November, you know, I, I think 
you know, I'm not the same guy. We're not the same channel, you know. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Well, roll with. So. Exactly. Good. Great question, Mark. Out, out loud. Great question. Anything else, baby? A uh, road trip, Dave. Uh, here's a question, but I might have missed it. Whose idea was it to start YouTube, and how long did it take for the spouse to be cool with it? <laughs> Joanna was on board immediately. She's like, "Yeah, that sounds fun," you know, like, and it, it was a pretty big, you know, expense. I came out. I went out. I bought a camera. I bought a drone. I bought a computer. Like, <laughs> Like, oh, I got to rack up the best vibe bill, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no interest. <laughs> like, we have 18 months to make money. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. Joanna, like, I, I can't say it enough. She's just been, she's she's been my my number one supporter for oh. anything I do. Um, through the two businesses that I've created since we've been together, you know, for this, you know the career move that I made when we first started together, you know, like any, everything she's been a hundred percent like behind my back and like, mm. I, I don't, you know, I couldn't do anything without her. So well, I could say something about that, that, you know, Hector, if he puts his mind to something, he does it very well. So mm. you know, I have no doubt that he will, you know, mm -hmm. succeed Succeed on mm -hmm. YouTube. Um, I mean, I think even, you know, not everyone's going to make it huge. Um, but if we could even, you know, make some sort of money off of it to just have some sort of an income, yeah. you know, another source of income, you know, and just not work as much. I feel like, you know, working 40 hours a week, you know, between housework and stuff like that, you just really don't have a lot of time to, like, hang out with your family, you know. Yeah, and it's right. like, we're not probably not going to hit the lottery, you know. So, <laughs> um, you know, like, we have to figure out something to try to, you know, yeah. get us yeah. to... But on it's another note, though, for any reason fun. this YouTube thing doesn't work out, I feel like I, you know, I put a lot of practice into a skill, into a, into something that I can take somewhere else. Like mm -hmm. I've talked about like real estate, photography, videos. or just yeah. like oh yeah, oh yeah, all films, short films. I collaborated recently with a couple of uh, creators uh, mm -hmm. in in Massachusetts and in Seattle, uh, who are really good cinematic vloggers, and we made a little mini movie recently. Um, that was really cool. I've gotten paid to do other YouTubers' videos, like. You know, like yeah. average video goes for about five hundred a pop. So I mean, like you know, it's it's there's there's a career out there outside of monetization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a million other things too, like Amazon, like you know, product reviews and all that exactly. kind of stuff. So, uh, to get paid, um, obviously, like one of the best ways would be to get a million subscribers. But you know, outside of here, like I feel like you know, mm -hmm. if this doesn't work out, I can you know, there's a million other things I could do now with the camera. You know, yeah. so. It's fantastic, and I don't think I'll ever have to work a day in my life again. You know, I still work. I still have my business. You know, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have a big, a, a good crew who does all the, the cool. hard labor for me. But you know, I still, I still have to answer my phone calls and answer emails and make bills yeah. and yeah. you know, collect money and do all the back end stuff that any business owner has to deal with. But all the stuff, all, 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 all the stuff, all the stuff you don't video. Stuff you don't video. Yeah. yeah. And eventually, <laughs> yeah. I'll be able to the boring stuff. Yeah. <laughs> eventually, I'll just be able to hold the camera and you know, like yeah. just edit yeah. and and do I love because I love it I love editing I love shooting I love you know I love the whole process of filmmaking and you know it's it's fantastic and I'm, I'm just a total nerd about it so uh, you're excellent yeah. you have super talented, super talented. All right, speaking, hey, of, speaking um, of a million um, subscribers, subscribers, Avery Lopez Avery Baines, Baines wants to know what would you do once you hit a million subs and how would that change your lives um can I answer some of this? Yeah. Okay, we want to ultimately have like property somewhere and have like animals and oh cool like I mean shoot you know we would adopt probably a bunch of dogs and just probably a drop. Well, actually, it's so funny is Joanne and I talked house. about this. Um, oh recently. You want to travel? Like no, no. This is this is something I, I don't know if you want oh, to talk about this, but we we Joanna and I talked about this exact thing that if if we ever did become successful on this platform and you know and we can make a living doing this um we'd probably even adopt you know like because uh, we both would i mean but financially i don't mm -hmm. we can't afford like another kid right now yeah. you know so could, yeah if we had money and money wasn't an issue i and, wish we could i wish there was a thing of the a house of, in the sky <laughs> that would be cool too. that would be really that would cool be so yeah, a, a big big piece of property with a pond. I would dig a pond, and then we'd have lots of kids and lots of animals. Oh. <laughs> we'll definitely want to have like a compound, like with like 
like all of our family lives like next to us and yeah. we all have like a farm and stuff and we all have so golf carts he really <laughs> likes um oh, i'm gonna drop me a brain fart Name. Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so Roman Atwood has this like gigantic property with like a little like lake in it, and just they do lots of fun stuff outside. And mm-hmm. I mean, if we could yeah. do that, just have fun, well, like as a family, that would be amazing. Yes, we just do what we love for a living. And we want to be more like self sustainable, like, like you know, with like all the GMOs and stuff. Like have our own a little homestead farm, you know, like grow our own stuff and know that it's like mm-hmm. healthy and we're not eating some cancerous like, food. Like grow mm-hmm. apples. Exactly. Like grow apples and uh-huh. carrots. That's right. That, <laughs> Juliana, that, she's yeah. awesome. That's what we do with our with a million subscribers. We'd, uh, we'd make all of our content on our own farm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'd blow stuff up. I'd probably start blowing a lot of stuff up. But that'd be great. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, Tyrell <laughs> really cool, Greenlee. Like, explosions behind me and walk away slowly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just got an image of that in my head. Action movie. <laughs> 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 It. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrell Greenlee Vlogs wants to know, Hector, hey, do you do... <laughs> Hector, do you do a lot of rapping? I... You do a lot of rapping, I see. Do you have a rap background? LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, you know what? In in the car, I am the best rapper, I swear <laughs> to God. Yeah, in, the yeah. in the shower, no, not so much because I, I get a lot of interruptions, but when I'm in traffic, man, I can I can... I could spit out some rap tunes, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think everybody's a good rapper in a car. And Tyrell, yeah. uh, Tyrell oh, is yeah. is new, right? Tyrell, uh, you, you just recently met up with Tyrell and you had dinner with him at yes. some uh, chicken and waffles. Tyrell is a fantastic mm. creator out of out of uh, out of Dallas, Texas. Um, I met him through Daniel Pasquale, actually. And um, talk about someone who like it just hasn't been seen yet because he is just, I mean, his. He's fantastic what he does, and he's a uh, he's a really good guy. I'm, I'm I'm honored to have met him the other day, and I'm glad he's here. Thank you, Tyrell. That's awesome. Yeah, welcome to the stream. I, I, you know, I I didn't I heard about him through through watching your video, and I watched his video, and he's definitely I love finding hidden gems, yes. and he is definitely a hidden gem. Guys, make what sure you go you? over and check out Tyrell Green's vlogs. Right, mm-hmm. uh, go Tyrell? check him out. Give him some love. Greenly, Tyrell Greenly, Greenly, Greenly vlogs. If not, make sure you're watching the, in the chat. If not, make sure you go watch the video over at Us Out Loud and watch the uh, great yeah, dinner that they have. Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Yeah, oh, so awesome. Like, never like, had you get to so go eat chicken and waffles, <laughs> and I'm putting the kids to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> I was out of here at ten o'clock. I was, back, like, I was like, I was like, later, babe. How I'm... good was it? Oh, I'm so jealous. And did he get stickers? And he didn't get any stickers from you, Tyrell. So if Sorry. you could yeah. send me a sticker, I'd be really <laughs> happy. <laughs> you, any more questions? Uh, one more. Okay. Road trip, Dave. Um... You did that one already, didn't you? No. Oh. Wait. You did. You didn't do this one. <laughs> yes, yeah. I did. I did this one. I did this one. Here's a question: Who's, whose idea was it to start YouTubing, and how long did it oh. take? Oh, I did that. I told you. Okay, so that was just a. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> so I can say to, to, to viewers, uh, you know, like I said before, I know a lot of uh, a lot of you guys out there have your own channels. Um, get involved with other creators. I think honestly, like you, you, there's so much you can learn from somebody else. Like like this little collaboration that we did, like with us. I mean, mm-hmm. I I, like, I admire, you know, I, I admire you guys' professionalism with live stream. There's nobody out there that I know that does what you guys do. Mm-hmm. On, on these live streams and, and i think that's you know i have a lot to mm-hmm. learn from you guys as far as like live which i don't do anymore i know sorry guys mm-hmm. um but you know I, I think if you can get out there if you know and collaborate with each other I, there's just there you know the possibilities are endless when, when we all put our minds together mm-hmm. so I, the community is super strong and there's there's more more ways to, to support each other than than watching and commenting and liking i think yeah. if you guys can create together you know i think it opens up all kinds of new doors i think that's uh, awesome you know, we, one we more question. Here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> And so one more question just popped up from No Cout Media. No Cut Media. Yep. Knockout. Welcome. Knockout. 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 Yeah, Knockout. There, you Knockout. there you go. All right, Knockout Media. Who is your favorite Jedi Master? Trick question or is it? <laughs> my favorite Jedi Master. <laughs> I think my favorite Jedi Daniel Master Pasquale. is going to be Daniel Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. 
<laughs> it's an inside joke. Uh, yeah, like, if, well, if you see my today's vlog, I think I posted it, like, right before here. Yeah, so you're disappointed. Everybody, when you're done here, obviously go over and check out today's yeah. vlog. Um, I, yeah, I did a little, I uh, went and worked out with Daniel this morning, and I call him uh, my Yoda master. He's, uh. like, he's, he's one of those people that has infinite wisdom. Like, um, yeah. he has to be a little bit older to be Mr. Miyagi. If he was in his <laughs> I'd call him Mr. Miyagi, but, you know, he's, he's a young guy, so I'm going to call him you. I'll call him Yoda right now. He can still move. He can still swing a sword. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, guys, that's, you... that's another very talented hidden gem. I don't want you. Yeah. Uh, his put, his yeah. creative skills are off the charts. Tanner, it, it, he's, he's awesome. fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Well, well listen, guys. You, you, here, guys. you guys did it. You guys <laughs> are finishing up here on on sessions. Um, we did it. Yeah, I mean, you guys are are awesome you guys killed it thank you guys so much for uh thank for joining that. with us um see it wasn't so bad it wasn't bad right it wasn't that <laughs> was i was so nervous before it's like like we're on like i don't know like a news channel or something yeah, no, no, editing. Editing. So no editing yeah you gotta it's hard that's the thing you can't cut anything out um it's cool like how you can talk to us like when the videos are playing yeah and, right so i can hear any what's going on you guys are pros, yeah. I tell oh, you. No, thank you. We appreciate that. Um, before we go, uh, I just want you to, um, if there's if there's that one kid that's watching this for some reason right now, and he's thinking, man, I really want to get on YouTube, or why should I get on YouTube? Um, what is this one thing you can tell them right now to just give them some inspiration um, and or, or just give them some, a little bit of advice? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put you full screen on this one because I want you to go in on this. <laughs> Now, if, if you're if you're out there and you're 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 contemplating, you know, starting a YouTube channel, or or maybe you've had a YouTube channel that you've that you've been using as a user and you've been using it to comment and stuff, and you've been thinking about making you know making your first video, the best thing you could do is hit that record button, and the best thing you could do is then hit that upload button. Like I was saying before, you know, everybody starts with a small audience for a reason, and we all grow with our audience. Uh, but the best thing you could do is go out there and do it, and I, I, I can't say that enough. Like it, you, you have to. You can't think. You can't wait till tomorrow. Um, every single day is another day that we've lost. So we have to live for the moment. Yes, I'm Jitterflix. There you go. Just plugged <laughs> yet. Live for the moment and go out there and do it. And um, you know, you will find inspiration all around you. You know, you will you will gravitate towards the people who support you, and you will find your audience. And you're, there's plenty of other fantastic people out there that are going to support you. And everybody here on this platform. No matter if you're a cooking channel, if you're a Disney channel, if you like to open up surprise eggs, there's a million people out there that are just just haven't found you yet. Um, no matter how old you are, you, you could be you know you could be 14 years old with your you know with your first you know iPhone and you want to make some videos, or you could be in your 60s. I've I've recently met some some older um, YouTubers. Uh, one of my favorite, fan, is fantastic. I think he's um, he looks like in his late 40s, but I think he's a little bit older than that. Getting Joe, uh, a Joe, if he if he's going to come here and watch this replay, I don't think he's in the chat right now. Um, older vlogger, he's got a dozen videos, and he's got more views than gosh, most of us. And he's just like so cool, so cool. There's yeah, there's <laughs> like... there's no age restriction on YouTube. There's an audience for every single person on here, and the best thing you can do is just go out there and do it. And, and I'll add one thing, and don't give up because give up. it is there are hard times and it is discouraging. Um, you know, when your view, when your videos don't get viewed. So just mm -hmm. you know, keep putting the content out. Don't give up. Stay consistent. And grind yeah. with anything, whether it's swimming, violin, um, football, basketball. You have to practice. You have to put in the work to be successful at anything. You have to put in the work. Oh, and awesome. it goes, that goes for school. That goes for anything. So awesome. put in the work. You'll find you'll find success. Awesome, great advice. Thank you guys so I much. Felt it. I felt Learned it. Something. That was good. <laughs> good. Thank you guys. Like seriously, you guys were incredible guests here on sessions. We appreciate your time and spending it here with us. And we um, guys. Yeah. yes, we're honored. We're we're this is an elite club being on sessions. <laughs> <laughs> right. Only once a month. I remember when you told me about it. I was yes. like, that's so far away. Oh my <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So many other channels yeah. out there. Oh, well, thank to you guys. Part.
Well, we hope to have you guys on here again. Maybe when you hit 20,000 or so, just remember that, you know, there's a little channel out here that does this, this little talk show. Hopefully it's sooner than later. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll be there. Yeah, that's right. Well, great yeah, job. Gonna, thank you again. Gotta, thank you, thank you, guys. Up, so. Thank you yeah. guys so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yes. Yeah. All right, say bye. There he goes. Bye. 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 All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining us. We had such a great time with Hector, Joanna, so the entire family. Such, you see how awesome they are? Mm -hmm. I mean, and if you have not, make sure you're check, going over to their channel, subscribing, watching their videos. You won't be you, disappointed. You won't be. You'll fall in love with the family mm -hmm. just like we did. Um, before we go, um, I just want to make sure, listen, we still have... Oh, before, before I even get into this, let's give... Thomas Ever After, Yay! some love, and thank you so much My for watching the chat for us. We thank everybody she that's been so on. Good. She did an amazing job, like always. Always. Uh, so we appreciate that. We do have our next session is going to be coming up. We'll be mm -hmm. doing an announcement. So we're excited to share who's going to be with us for September. August? September. Yeah, September. Yes. <laughs> um, we want to give a shout-out to The Live Place. Uh, make sure if you have not checked it, thelivepleplace.com. Go there, give some love to, to uh, that, that website, Family Friendly Live Streaming. Uh, you can catch us there and a bunch of awesome people from our community. Mm -hmm. You can get our shirts. You see the shirts that we're wearing. You can check it out on our, our spreadshirt.com. And, and you can also give uh, send us some mail, which we love, which I have not been to the P.O. Box in a good minute. Oh, my goodness. I know, right? It's been a long time. Thank you guys so much for joining us. That is Sessions. Are you ready to, to end this, baby? Yes. Or right. you started. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. Remember to always dream big. And do big things. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>